this is completely unscripted this is completely new it's great so after the last clickbait esque video okay i'm not gonna lie that was completely clickbait i am going to explain a little bit more so I'm no longer doing PC tech related videos. So your personal computer stuff, by PC tech, I mean personal computer stuff, to put building the computers, like doing stuff with the computers, not covering that anymore because there is just too many people out there doing that really, really well already. Like, well, Linus Tech Tips is probably one of the biggest. Who else is there? Hardware Unboxed, Gamers Nexus, all those guys, they do whole bunch of great stuff and probably more than I can do right now um, it takes a lot of time and effort to do all that stuff and record all that stuff and then edit all that stuff and all the rest of it and like I said there's heaps of people doing that really well already so as I touched on I am going to be looking at more business related stuff so the scrapyard is 3p garage which you can see on my shirt and uh, I am the ninja because our mascot is a ninja. I am the ninja. A friend pointed out to me, he's like, you can't be the ninja. I'm like, why not? He's like, well, I can see you. I'm like, ha, but you can only see me because I am allowing you to see me. Didn't have an answer for that one. I've been running 3P Garage for, this is our eighth year in business now. There are a lot of things that I have done um, that I never would have done if I was not a business owner. Um, there's a lot of things I've tried that have worked. There's a lot of things I've tried that haven't worked. Um, and yeah, basically I have, well, you already know if you've seen any of my previous videos or found this, I have a heavy, heavy background in technology. I like technology. I enjoy working with technology. I enjoy new technology, which is great because a lot of people don't, and a lot of people don't try new things. I'm willing to try new things, which is hopefully going to be interesting. Um, so mixing business ownership with the like for technology and the fascination with new technology, um, I am going to try some things and document the process. So look, not everything is going to work the way I expect it to. In fact, a lot of it probably won't. There are other business owners out there who don't have as much technical knowledge, who aren't willing to try new things. They just want to know what works and what doesn't. The other thing I touched on briefly in my last video was that there is a lot of information out there. Like, as a business owner, I get a heap of ads. A lot of courses, a lot of systems, a lot of uh, access to services or software. It's insane. But that being said, there is a lot of information out there for free. It doesn't cost you a cent, and it's going to be the same result either way, like whether you paid for it or not. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe if you pay for it, then you feel more obligated to do something with it. I don't know. But as a scrapyard techie, everything has got to be either cheap or free. So in this case, information, there's so much information out there and it's all free. There's so much of it. You just got to find it and find what works and what doesn't. Now I realize I'm adding to the information out there and well, as a business owner, you might think that I'm trying to sell you something. Uh, I'm not because I'm not extremely experienced in all of this stuff. I'm not going to try and sell you my services or time or whatever to say that I can earn you X amount of dollars because I don't know that I can. I know that some things have worked for our business and I know that we're going to try some things that may or may not work for our business and hopefully uh, you can see that process which will be, like I said, hopefully that'll be interesting. Um, but then even if it, well, on top of that, maybe if you see it and you're like, you're doing it wrong, well, you can tell me. You can tell me what I'm doing wrong and what I need to change and why it did or didn't work. And then hopefully we can help each other. Like, you know, I'm not pretending that I have all the answers, um, but the process of learning it is more what I want to cover. And hopefully if I can help someone else learn something in the process, then I've achieved what I wanted to achieve, really. So basically, the goal is, as a small business owner, I know that it's hard sometimes to do things in business, 
and it's hard to find the right information or find the right people to ask information or get information from. So as a small business owner, um, I would imagine this will help other small business owners as well. Um, or if not, maybe the other thing that I was thinking was maybe you're just interested in how advertising works or how business things work, especially like advertising on Facebook. Why do you see a particular ad? Why is it shown to you? Another reason why I'm doing this though is, look, running a business, I'm not going to lie, is not an easy thing to do. Um, this particular business, like, nobody's getting rich from doing this. Not that I want to be rich from doing this, but there's definitely nobody getting rich from doing this. Um, I could probably go and go back to IT and make more money doing that. But look, I've explained to a lot of people that we didn't start the business to make money. We started the business to help people. And that's fine. That's great. Like we are operating. We've survived for a lot longer than most businesses survive these days. Um, and that's fine. Like we're still operating, we're still running, but I think we could do more. And I think there's some things that we could do, like new things we could do. There are some things we could do better. And, you know, why not document the process and see if it helps somebody else as well. Essentially, I'm running three brands at once. Don't ask me how that works, because in my head, it still does my head in sometimes, and it's going to be a lot of work. But I'm not afraid of work. Like, if you are not familiar with my videos, this is my workahol. It was introduced in the first video that I did. I'm not afraid to work, that's fine. Like I work a lot, I spend a lot of time working. Um, I don't know how, because I miss out on a lot of sleep and people often tell me I look tired. I probably look tired right now. It's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm still here working on, well, this now. But anyway, so look, let's go through the brands. This is the brand that you are watching right now, really. This is Scrapyard Techie, and you can follow along here if you like. There's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's Twitter, there's obviously YouTube. Um, yeah, so that's the first one. Like, look, okay, this isn't that big. I've been doing this for less than a year. We are at 76 likes, so not a huge amount. We actually have about 200 followers on Instagram, so that's a little bit bigger. Still not a massive amount. Um, been running since July last year. So what are we at now? We're at April, so we're nine months in? Something like that anyway. Um, but anyway, yeah. So this is where you can follow along on the process. This is the main brand. 3P Garage, the Scrapyard is the main brand. Um, this is what earns the money. This is what keeps us going. Um, look, we've got 5,031 likes here and we are close to a thousand on Instagram as well because we didn't do Instagram for a long time now we are doing Instagram as well as Facebook a lot of stuff gets cross posted between the two but anyway and then the last one which was actually started before Scrapyard Techie is 5bit 5bit for five bucks IT okay so this brand has actually undergone a few different iterations um, not the name itself but uh, in what it does so first it started off with I have a bunch of old computers uh, one of the other guys who works here, Jacob. I'm Jacob. Oh, wait, wait. He can attest to how many computers I have. There are a lot, and they are old. Well, a lot of them are old. Okay, now let's show him your stupid collection of stuff. Yeah. There is a lot of stuff up there. Like, right at the top there, near the roof, is an old Mac, which I don't understand. There's like 12 plus laptops up there, and just a bucket ton of tower cases some servers as well there's a lot of them so i was going to try and sell off bits and pieces at uh, five bucks a piece kind of what we do with the cars here we buy the cars we take the parts off we sell them for money but um see with computers when you're selling bits off for five bucks a piece and they're old one people don't necessarily want them straight away like there's not a high demand if you've got something old that you need to get going sure um but like for the amount of labor involved and time and handling inquiries and stuff, it just wasn't really worth five bucks a piece. So then I moved it to like IT repairs from five bucks because some problems are simple. Some problems can be fixed in five minutes. So five bucks for five minutes. Um, like if you just 
got a piece of hardware that needs to be replaced, like diagnosed and replaced, often you can do that in five minutes. Um, just the settings wrong, change that in five minutes. There's a whole bunch of stuff that could be fixed pretty quickly. There was a five minute quick fix for five bucks, 20 minute quick fix for 20 bucks and 50 bucks an hour labor. But problem with that is that IT repair has a lot of competition, like a lot, a lot of competition. And it seems to be a fairly hard market to crack. Um, the other thing too is that we did most of the small amount of advertising that we did on Gumtree, which is a website, and Facebook, uh, which is also web-based, internet-based. Um, if your computer's broken, then how are you gonna access that? Like if you're young enough to be able to do what you do on the computer on your phone, then you probably have a friend who can fix it for you or you can probably fix it yourself. So, you know, electronic advertising for that type of setup, that type of service, probably not the best idea. The target market would probably be your older customers who can't fix that themselves. But the problem is to reach the older customers who aren't doing stuff on their phone, that would mean different types of advertising on different media, probably print, like letterbox dropping flyers or newspaper ads or advertising in the phone book, maybe even radio, if you're rich enough, television ads. And yeah, I, I just not putting that much time and effort into it to get that because this really is just was, is, whatever. The, like the IT repair thing is just a side to running the scrapyard. Most of the repairs happen here, unless, you know, someone wants me to go there and fix it. But to push it hard would mean that we'd put a lot of time and money into it. Yeah, it's probably not really worth the effort for that, just for a side thing. Um, if we were trying to take it off as a main brand, sure. So, look, we've got to change it to something else that we can actually do from here, as well as running the scrapyard. So, look, I'm going to cover more on that later and leave it there for now we're going to try some new things um five bit will be we'll call it the experimental brand because i didn't cover its likes but it has 30 something likes so essentially we're having to build the brand from almost scratch so hopefully that's an interesting process and someone out there can learn something from it but we shall see anyway if you want to follow along i'm calling this the journey and uh you can follow along on the Scrap Yard Techie brand. So on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, um, probably add more stuff later, but I'll talk about that when we do it. And yeah, we'll go from there. Anyway, I hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye.